Okay, hi there. Here we have a uh, a small essay at C2 level. Article, I was there. A magazine is running a competition for the best article entitled, I was there. Those entering have to write an article describing a historical event as if they had been present at it. Write an article for this competition describing the event you have chosen and what your impressions would have been. <laughs> and uh, what your impressions would have been had you witnessed it. Okay, so here we go. I was there. I was there before, while and after it happened. Okay, that's quite good. I like that. There was a riot. The crowd was furious as never before. Okay, I quite like your structure here as well. The crowd was furious as never before. Nothing good could come as a result of this. They had caught Rodrigo de Tordesillas at the threshold of the Cathedral of Segovia, where he had meant to explain his reasons for voting against what the Segovian citizens and his spokespersons wanted, but he was not allowed to open his mouth. Before he could utter one single word, they had tied him and took him to the gallows at Market Street. They had tied him. Yeah, I might put they had tied him up, but that's fine. And took him to the gallows at Market Street. All the way down, the mob was hitting him. He had bruises all over his body, and blood was coming from his wounds. Okay, so... All the way down, down, down the street, yeah. The mob was hitting him. He had bruises all over his body. And blood from his wounds. I think here I would, I would like a V. And the blood, let's put it in capitals. H. The blood from his wounds prevented from seeing him where he was treading. Or rather plodding. I like this word plodding. So he stumbled every now and then, uh, wounding his already wounded body. So we've got wound, wound, and wound. Too many. Um, so, uh, um, let's see. Firstly, he's, alre he's already injured. Definitely. Uh, every now and then. Let's put something different. So, uh, yeah, hurting even further his already injured body. Okay. I've missed the R. Hurting even further. And now and then. I think I'm going to put a comma here. Every now and then. So he stumbled every now and then. Uh, hurting even, even further his already injured body. When all of a sudden in the, na in the narrowest point of the Berocal Street, Berocal, of, I think I would take out the, of Berocal Street, an old lady perching out of her window shouted, shrieked. I like the shrieked better. It sounds, be it's, uh, it sounds much more literary. Uh, so, when all of a sudden, uh, I'm not very happy with this when, because it, 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 it's not terribly cohesive with the rest of it. I think just lose it. All of a so, right. all of a sudden, in in the narrowest point of Berocal Street, an old lady perching out perching out of her window shrieked, "What are you waiting for?" 
okay yes very definitely without the when okay because it, it when is something else parallel happening at the same time what do you need to hang him right now and right here I would probably say right here and now right put it the other way around right here and right now normally the order of this is here and now in the here and now what do you need to hang him right here and right now a rope here it is instantly all the voices were mute everybody was speechless for a second as if they were pondering what to do however half dead as he was Rodrigo was the only one who could speak out. Okay, I like this colon here. Here is the narrow border line. Here is the narrow line. I think I'm going to go for line. Uh, between life and death. Everybody could hear him because of the deep silence. Maybe that was his best offence. And what, ev what made everybody consider what they were doing just for a second. So, this just for a second is talking about this consider. And it's too far away from it. So, maybe that was his best offence. And what made everybody consider, comma, for just a second, comma, what they were doing. It reads better like that because like this, it's clear that it's talking about the consider. They finally took him to jail where after a mock trial, uh, they did not need to execute him as he was already dead when they got to the gallows of the result of as a result of the beating he had received. They finally took him to jail, uh, jail, I think to the courthouse, to the court or the courthouse, where a mock trial yeah, where after a mock trial they, yes, so they finally took him to the court where after a mock trial, they did not need to execute him. Okay, they did not need. I would pr probably prefer, I'm quite a stickler for this, there was no need to execute him as he was already dead when they... So, where well they got to, it's perfectly good, but you've got such um, a literary nice style going here. When they arrived at the gallows, um, as a result of the beating he had received, nobody wanted to hear his reasons. His reasons, yeah, his reasons, his defence. Okay, um, so nobody wanted to hear his reasons. Let's add something to it. Or justifications. Nevertheless, the only sentence he uttered without being interrupted has remained as part of our history. Uh, as the name of the street, I think probably in the name of the street, in the name of the street where he pronounced it. Where he pronounced it, where he... Okay, nowadays everybody can know what happened there thanks to a plaque, definitely a plaque, that commemorates that sad moment. And that's where it stops. I think yes very definitely okay justifications this is, v is is a very good piece of writing again 
um, you write very well. It's it's got st style to it as well, um, and it sounds and feels very literary. There are almost no mistakes, and many of the things that I've put are improvements. Yeah, they're just making it look or sound um, better m or clearer. The vocabulary is great, although this wound, wound, wound is not so good. Um, I like this plodding, stumbled. There are l lots of, of, of good words in it. Um, let's see. I would say at level C2, I'm going to give it something like mm, 7.5 out of 10, maybe 8 out of 10. It, it's a, a very nice essay. Well done.